You know, I'm so happy I live in a society where I get to make choices. I get to choose what I want to wear, whether my hair should be long or short. I get to choose what I want to be when I grow up. But you know, some choices are harder to make than others. Like, do I want chocolate or vanilla? Hmm. Or both. <laughs> no, but seriously, some choices are really hard to make. Like, what do you do if someone steals your boyfriend? I know most girls would just find another one. But I recently heard the story of one girl who decided to do something else. She decided that she wanted to get revenge on the girl who stole her boyfriend. So, she killed her. Those kind of decisions our society has a bit of a problem with. You see, those aren't just personal preferences. In that case, I think we can all agree that that choice was wrong. There are two categories of choices. There are the favorite flavor of ice cream type of choices, which are kind of like personal preferences or opinions. Then there are the, no, it's either right or wrong type of choices. Kind of like a math test. Now one way you can decide which category a choice fits into is by looking at the impact it has on someone. For example, if I choose I want to have chocolate ice cream over vanilla, I don't harm anyone. Or if I decide that I want to vote conservative instead of liberal, or Republican over Democrats, I don't take someone else's choice away. Or if I decide that I want to buy a GM instead of a Ford, I don't rob someone else of their rights. It's important to make distinctions like this because when it comes to other issues like abortion, people really get confused. You see, some people will say, oh, I think abortion's wrong, and, and but I still think it's a good thing that it's legal. This confuses me because when you ask them why they think abortion's wrong, they say, well, because abortion kills a baby. Everyone knows that. But what they're really saying in that case is that abortion kills a baby, but it should still be legal. In fact, most pro-choice advocates say that abortion should be safe, legal, and rare. This also seems odd to me, because by saying it should be safe and legal, they're saying that it's a personal preference, and that people should be free to choose what, whether they want an abortion or not. But by saying that it should be rare, they're implying that there's something wrong with abortion. Hmm. And it's also interesting that we don't apply this mindset on other personal preference choices. Like, if I buy a chocolate ice cream instead of vanilla, nobody says to me, okay, you can buy a chocolate this time, but most of the time I want you to buy vanilla. Or no one says to me, if I buy a Ford instead of a GM, okay, a Ford once in a while is okay, but next time buy a GM. And I'm not trying to diss being pro-choice. In fact, I consider myself very pro-choice. I believe that women should make choices like what career they want to pursue, whether or not they should have kids, what religion they should follow. But when it comes to, I want to kill my husband, I have a problem with that choice. You see, my rights end where yours begin. So when it comes to the issue of abortion, I think the question we really need to ask is, are the unborn humans? Because if they are, then we should be giving them rights, and neither I nor anyone else should be infringing upon those rights. But if they aren't humans, then abortion really is just another personal preference. You know, I'm going to choose the chocolate.